Hey guys, so Carpoy Short Shifter today. So the first thing you want to do is take off a shift knob and then go ahead and take that center console piece out. So just pull it out like that and there's one button that holds it in. Unplug actually. Let's go ahead and remove that. This one right here. There's where you want to push it a little bit lower than usual to unplug it. And then go ahead and just take the console piece off, just rip the boot right off, it comes off, right off. Okay, and take the zip tie off. We can break it like me. And then go ahead and punch the, uh, the pin out that holds the reverse lockout cable in place. Um, I recommend putting the stick in fourth because you're going to end up knocking it in the fourth anyway. So just keep banging it, it'll come out eventually. Alright, and then take out the one bolt that holds the stick to the, I guess the transmission piece, whatever you want to call it. Right. And then take out your clip with pliers. Uh, there's a tool that makes it a lot easier if you have that, definitely use that. Okay. And then you can and take the reverse lockout cable, you know, out of the actual stick and then pull up the stick out of the car. Make sure you got all your O-rings and that stuff. Okay, and then take the base part off. Um, I like using my impact driver, so go ahead and use that if you have one, or you can just use a regular screwdriver, but I didn't want to strip any bolts, so I like my impact driver. And take those, those two screws off, and then take everything you can off the stock stick, the base, the spring, and that rubber piece at the bottom. Okay, we're going to re reuse all this stuff in the old one, in the new one actually. Take the C-clip off and take that other plastic base piece off too. You might need to take the bearing and the other bushings from the middle out too if your stick doesn't come with those pieces, but the carpoy comes with it so we didn't need to use those. So go ahead and uh, some lithium grease on the, uh, the ball of the, uh, the carpoy. Okay, and then put that piece over it. Make sure again you have your o two O-rings. Those are there. Okay, and then just put everything else back together. So put the C-clip back on and put that rubber piece at the base of the stick. Well, base of the, that part. <laughs> okay, put the spring back on. Then put the uh, base back on as well. Go ahead and screw the base back in. The two screws. Okay, and then after that, you want to base back the whole assembly back into the car. So just push it straight down. Then put the uh, C clamp back in with your pliers. So just squeeze it and then put it back in. You'll fit seat into place, just like that. Okay, and there are some of the STIs. There's fitment issues because of the uh, raised like angle of the stick. So what you might want to do is switch the plate 180 degrees. So those four bolts right there. So just take those four bolts off, switch the base 180 degrees, and you have to bend a little bit of metal. But once you do that and put it back in, then it'll give you clearance. And you didn't have any rubbing issues. But we need to do that. We didn't have any rubbing issues, so we are okay without doing that. And then put the bolt back in and tighten the the nut to it. Okay, and then go ahead and pull the reverse lockout cable and put an Allen wrench in that hole to hold it kind of like in the open position because the only way you're going to be able to get it back, the, the bolt, the pin back in there. So what it should look like, you should be able to see the reverse lockout cable like that. Uh, you might have to twist the actual cable to get it to line up. That's what we do. You put that, I call it the reverse lockout button, put that on, put the pin through it, and just hammer away. And it'll eventually go in. You can't dub it in with your hands, so don't try. That take the Allen wrench out, you don't need it anymore. And go ahead and zip tie the reverse lockout cable to the actual stick. 
Okay, cut the, the end off. All right, and then all you need to do is just plug the uh, plug back in and put that call piece back on. So put the boot back over. I hope you don't have as much trouble as I did. All right, and then go ahead and put the center console piece back in. Okay, like that. Push boot down, make it look all pretty and nice. And all you need to do after that is put the uh, shift knob back on. Just screw it on. And that is it. So I hope this helped you.